Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the plat one. Doesn't matter if you're a returning player, doesn't matter if you're a new player, doesn't matter if you're an OCG player, if you're a TCG player, doesn't matter if you're an MTG player, or even worse, doesn't matter if you're a Duel Links player. It don't matter, baby. If you're any Yu Gi Oh player, I'll teach you right now, no matter how bad you are at this game, how to get the plat one easily. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. We're almost at 60,000 subscribers. 60,000, baby! So smash the subscribe button. Also, I got a Patreon down below to help new players and returning players and all old players alike how to get better at this game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let's get started, baby. How to get the plat one? Easy. There's a bunch of tricks involved when building a deck to go to plat one. Plat 5, whatever your goal might be. So if you're stuck on gold right now, or if you're stuck on plat, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Follow these, and now with the new season change, you'll be able to hit plat 1 easily. First things first, I want you guys to look at my deck. I'm playing Sulfa Chord. I'm playing Sulfa Chord. In a span of 3 hours, 3 hours, live on stream, I built this deck from nothing. I made a new account, built this deck from scratch, and I brought it to plat, one, plat 5 in like 2-3 three, three hours with the tutorial involved and all of that very very quick a majority of that time was just building the deck the dueling is quick why because i followed a few important lessons so pay close attention if you guys can take anything from this video this is it if you look at my deck here do you notice anything you notice that there is absolutely zero hand traps let me explain now why you don't need hand traps i'm gonna say this very clearly 99 percent 99 percent of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists on Master Duel absolutely suck. They absolutely suck. The bottom of the barrel Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists. Probably you watching this video. But that's okay because you're currently taking the time to get better. Which is why I salute you. This is why you do not play hand traps. If you had a hand of two Nibiru, your opponent doesn't even know how to put five monsters in the field. Your Nibiru is going to be stuck and glued to your hand the entire duel. But instead of that Nibiru, you could have a Sofa Chord Kutea. And this could trigger all the combos of your deck. Don't play hand traps whatsoever from bronze all the way to plat five. Don't even think of the idea. Maybe occasionally you'll face a good Drytron player and you're going to lose. Guess what? You're going to lose anyways. But now in the other nine duels where you're going to face off against some very interesting concoction of combined of Black Wings, Heroes, and the Structure deck. Now your, your Nibiru, which will never be used because your opponent only normal summons and doesn't know what an XYZ summon is and still thinks that links are rituals. Now that you got through that, you don't want, you get to keep all the cards in your hand and use them offensively. Which is now leading us to tip number two. Master your deck. Pick a deck. Pick one deck. Build a deck. Go on YouTube. Find a deck you like. If you like cute anime girls, I got a perfect deck for you. Sulfa Chords. I even have beautiful playmats of it on www.trippergaming.com where every single one of you guys should go who are into weird things like feet. Because I have a cool feet playmat of Doremi Chords on there. So you should go. What did I do with this deck? I mastered this deck. I went VFD Turbo with this deck. And I made sure with Gizmet Kaku, Trius, Diviner, all these cards get level 9s. Trish Fusion. I know Doremi Chord and Sulfur Chord. What they do is they plus a lot like crazy. And then they just do nothing. So I found a way to make VFD very easily with this deck. So literally, I, I in one point, I think I literally lost only one game all the way from Rookie to Plot. Only one game. I had a 20 win streak. And I got the plot. That it's literally the easiest shit ever. Why? Because I have no hand traps in this deck. And I have one combo. Which is leading, like I said, to number two. Master a combo. This is what I use. Even anyone who doesn't use this deck. Even if you don't know how to pendulum summon. This deck is very straightforward. It is very straightforward. Scale one. Scale eight. Pendulum in between. You're good. If you want more easy, easier decks. Zodiac is a very easy deck. But we'll get to deck choices later. So number two tip is master your deck i mastered this one so i'm good to go now we're going to go on to tip number three before you master your deck pick a good deck pick a good deck if your skill is not very high 
at this game maybe or if you just started haven't played in a long time maybe you just got back into Yu-Gi-Oh maybe the last time you played Yu-Gi-Oh was when you stole your four-year-old buddy's Yu-Gi-Oh dark magician girl and thought you were cool and that was the last time you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh well now you're not four anymore you're 24 so use YouTube use Google go look for some good cards and good decks to play and what I think you guys should play for all returning players is simple it's Zodiac so tip number three is actually pick a deck that works for you. This deck right here is a go second Zodiac deck that I created that is super noob friendly. Noob Farfa level friendly. So this is the deck that if you guys want to play, if you don't know the cards, I'm literally going to go through them all quickly right now so you can see the name in the top left. It's a go second Zodiac deck, which requires zero brain cells, zero logic, zero thinking required, okay? All you need to know is understand how the Zodiacs work. I don't think there's a single deck in Yu-Gi-Oh that is more easy to make. Now, if you're a good, if you're a pro Yu-Gi-Oh duelist, I would build this deck a little bit differently. But I think this is super noob friendly. Why? Because you decide to go second every single game. When your opponent plays, you have no hand trap. You don't even need to know what to interrupt. You, you, you don't need to know. You don't even need to read their cards. You, you, you literally don't need to read their cards. You just click buttons and you win the game. This is probably better than even Eldritch. To win it's extremely cheap and if you're a new duelist if you're a returning duelist literally build this deck card for card and by the time you're in silver you'll just know what everything does all you need to know in this deck is very simple you go second you destroy your opponent's boards with card with cards like dark hole regeki i'm sure you guys know what this card do you guys know what lightning storm does this card is truly insane it is both regeki and feather duster combined in one and you get to decide which but you can only get to pick one but you can only use it when you have no face of cards in the field so you use it as your first card use it as your first card and it's either Regeki or dust, Feather Duster. Literally, absolutely broken. So when you use cards like this, it makes it for new players a lot more easy. So you don't even need to read cards. I see big monster. I destroy. That's it. That's it. By itself. And then maybe they're going to have one form of negate. But apes together strong. So when you combine two Dark Holes together, if they negate your first Dark Hole, the second Dark Hole will destroy everything else. Uh, MST, Book of Moon Chalice. These are just spells that you use going first or second. That way, if you, if let's say they're playing a deck that's go second as well, which will happen when you start playing, uh, then at least you have some cards that could be used as quick play spells as your opponent on as interruptions. The biggest idea of this deck, why it's so noob friendly, is the fact that there is no link summons, there is no rituals, there is no fusions, there is no synchros, there is not a, no even real XYZ summons. I'll explain. There's no links. There's none of this. All you need to know is how Zodiac effects work. You don't actually XYZ with these. They might be black, but only from the waist down. You feel me? So you don't need to actually know how to XYZ summon normally. You only need to know how to XYZ Zodiac summon, which I'm going to explain now. So what you do to XYZ Zodiac summon is you take any Zodiac and you just place this Zodiac on top. That's it. You see a Zodiac, you place one Zodiac XYZ on top. It is that simple. It is that simple. It is that simple. You see a Zodiac Bunny Blast. You slap Tiger on top. That's how the, you slap Borbo on top. You, they could slap each other on top of each other. They each have effects. Tiger could attach any Zodiac material to another one. Borbo could attack directly. This one is useless. This one could special summon a Zodiac from a graveyard. And this is the best one. It's at one. It's called Zodiac Dryden. This could destroy a card on each field. And then after you attack, you could slap Zeus on top. And then this could this is a truly broken card, which I highly recommend you read. This card does piercing, which you could also slap on top, but can't slap another on top of this one. Piercing 2,500. And they all, even though they're all at zero attack, every Zodiac XYZ steals the attack from the Zodiac main monster that they have in the field. Any Zodiac monster also has a slight effect. So that's basically what it does. Whether you don't know about the deck or not, you could take this deck and literally by the time you're in silver, you're, you'll learn it masterfully. And it's insanely, insanely cheap. So even if you're in already, in, let's say you're in gold right now, and you're really struggling with your blue eyes turbo with uh, random uh, dark magician in your deck because go Yugi, well, you could just go ahead and scrap that entire deck and instead just build this deck. It is insanely, insanely cheap. And you could take yourself, it doesn't matter where you are, you could build it on the spot and go just take the go to plot with it. The only thing, like all the Zodiac engine is mandatory. If you guys can't afford the lightning storms or let's say i mean everyone should have a lot of sr tickets they're really easy to get but if you can't afford the lightning storm it's okay just play another spell for going second that's, that's good so these are my three biggest tricks i'm gonna go repeat them trick number one is don't play 
hand traps uh, when you start off playing up to plat 1 or up to plat 5 because everyone is super ass and you want to make sure to have as many combo pieces in your deck as possible. Uh, number two is master your deck. And number three is actually pick a good deck. So you can have all three. Combine all these three. And then there's a final fourth. Watch Yu-Gi-Oh! streamers. Watch Master Duel streamers on Twitch. I know a good one who's really handsome and actually has a very beautiful beard. And he's very cool. His name is Farfa. So you guys go check out Farfa. And then if you guys like other people, you go check them out as well. And then you're going to be able to learn everything you need to do. And you're going to be able to play properly. And then with this skill that you learn from watching, you're going to be able to be really good at Yu-Gi-Oh. You're going to be able to hit Plat 1. And no one will stand a chance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. And make sure to go check out the beautiful playmats on TripleGaming.com. You can get beautiful feet playmats. I don't own any Zodiac playmats because I'm based and only own Pendulum playmats. And also, if you guys want to get better at the game, make sure to check out my Patreon down below. Daily videos on Macedo training. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. P.S. Also follow me on Twitch. Peace.